G'day and welcome back to my shed. Um, I decided to um, do something a bit special this telecast that I'm building. I uh, decided to buy some veneer from um, England, a place called Bath in England. I actually come across it on eBay, so yeah, it cost about $77 Australian to get it here. And we'll just open it up now and give you a bit of a look. Yeah, some quilted maple veneer, I don't know if you can see the figure in that, but it's a really nice figure in that, but it's also very wavy. So, I've had to um, look into how to flatten it, I suppose. Um, and I come across a YouTube video from Darren Oates Fine Furniture. Big shout out to you, mate. Um, I'm going to give it an attempt to try and flatten this veneer. Uh, so I'll go through that process with you now. So yeah, Darren explains that you got to have a mixture of water, methylated spirits, and vegetable glycerin. So there's 60 mils of vegetable glycerin and 60 mils of methylated spirits. And I'm only making a liter up, so the remaining will be 880 mils of water. So just luckily I happen to be a vapor, so I had plenty of vegetable glycerin on hand, you can buy that from the local vape shops or you can um, buy it on uh, online. So firstly, just got to lay down some plastic or um, I'm just using cling wrap. And cling wrap's not my friend, cause have trouble getting it out. sheet on the clean wrap. It's basically just to try and contain the moisture. Um, as Darren did, I'm just using a one litre garden or five litre garden sprayer. So let's mix it up and see how we go. So I've only got a 40 mil measuring cup, it doesn't have to be exact, according to Darren. Sixty mil of vegetable glycerin. And sixty mils of methylated spirits. So all you've got to do then is top it up with water and one litre mark on the actual container so I'm just going to top it up to that, give it a good shake and then give it a bit of a spray. Be back in a second. Right. 
<coughs> got a litre of water in there now. Uh, pretty close to it anyhow. Give that a bit of a pump up and a shake. function here with the battery going flat on me so I didn't get to see it um, get the spray it on but basically you spray on that solution let it sit in a cling wrap for about two hours and then um, put it in a clamp I just made up a bit of a clamp here run out of clamp so I just got a couple of hand clamps here with a piece of timber in the middle give us some downward pressure in the middle and then just put some bolts around the other side so leave that uh, veneer clamped in there for about two hours and then um, unclamp it and then go for the next process which will be laying down corrugated uh, cardboard and then a sheet of um, absorbent paper towel a sheet of veneer, sheet of corrugated cardboard, paper towel and corrugated cardboard and top of that clamp it all up and leave it again for about another two hours and you can go and have a look at that whole process if you like on um, Darren's webpage, which will, I'll put the link in the in the description down below. Okay, because um, I've decided to put a veneer top on this, um, I'm going to have to trace out where all the cavities are with the um, pickups control um, area in the neck. So. I'm just going to put a bit of paper on there and trace it out because once I put the veneer on you're not going to be able to see where the cavities are so I'll need some sort of template to show me where it is so I can carve it out later on. So I've just got some A4 paper and sticky taped it together. There's a little bit of lead pencil. Just try and feel them out. so you can see a bit of an outline on it and then just go with the grey lead pencil is what I'm doing. Just need a bit of a rough outline, that's all you need just so when you put the veneer on you've got a bit of an area where to start. That's not the most exciting thing but That'll save you a bit of time when you, after you put the veneer on. Takes all the guesswork of where the actual cavities are at. So yeah, I was going to put that aside. Yeah, I've had a few dramas when I was trying to flatten the veneer. I did start off with a different type of jig and I had to go and purchase some more clamps as well as um, some other bits and pieces, some timber and whatnot. Um, but yeah, um, I've had it sitting drying for probably about a week and um, yeah, it seems to be working okay. Don't think it's 100% flat, but I think it's flat enough to yeah, be able to glue it to the top. So, okay, we'll undo it and see how we go and see what it looks like. Take the clamps off. Okay, it's been sitting for a week, as I said. See what it looks like. muck around too much in between unclamping it and gluing it. Um, I did have some problems with drying cracks that started cracking uh, once I applied the solution 
and it started to dry out, started to crack. So what I did was a bit like you do with glass, just drill a small hole, and then the crack has stopped. So it happened in, in two places here, there, and there. But um, got a lovely figure in that veneer. Really nice when it's screwed up. So that's still pretty wavy, but the center part where I want to glue it is pretty flat. So what I've got to do is join these two together on the top of the guitar body. The guitar body is basswood, by the way, and it's a three-piece um, basswood top. But as you can see, I've got to join these together, and them, ed them edges don't line up too well. So what I've numbered them one and two, traced it out on the guitar where it's going to go. And then basically book match them by putting the two ends together like that. And then get these reasonably close on that edge. You can see that. I'll just move that that way a bit. And I'm just going to overhang, get the straightest edge that you've got on an MDF board or something like that. I'm just going to overhang the edges slightly out on the board. And what I'm going to do is sand them flat. So I've got two edges that are perfectly straight together. Just overhang it by a couple of millimetres. It doesn't have to be much at all. Get the other piece of um, MDF and then sandwich them two pieces between it. And what you're going to do is get a sanding block and sand this edge down here. and try and make that as uniform as possible. So just grab a couple of clamps. Just want to stop the, the veneer from moving. I'm going to back that off a little bit because that top MDF board is sitting a little bit back. And the whole idea of this is try and get that edge perfectly straight so when you join it on top of the guitar, there's no gaps. Yeah. Uh, now there's nothing, nothing of the veneer standing proud of the MDF, so all right, that should be all completely uniform and a nice straight join. Okay, the best way to do this, we've not done this part before, but we'll give it a go. I think um, we run a, a small glue line down the edge, and then we tape it up. And, um, yeah, we glue it to the top of the guitar. Oop. So you just, yeah, run a real light bead of glue down the edge. Doesn't have to be a lot. Just enough to stick the edges together. It doesn't look too bad. Okay, so I'm just going to line these all up, press it together. Hopefully it all comes together at the end. So that 
tell me that you should start at one end and work to the work to the other end. Just get a bit of um, masking tape and hold the edges together. Place it across. And there's your tape on one side, just put a bit of pressure on the other side, make sure the joint's nice and tight. That's looking pretty good so far. Doesn't have to look pretty. As long as it holds the joint together. Being a telecaster guitar too, some of this joint you won't even see because the, there'll be a pick guard on it. There will be a bit of glue that will press up into that joint anyhow once we get it in the press and all lined up. Alright, on to the next part. That seems to be sitting together pretty well. So, seems to be going good. So the next part we've got to put glue on this side of the veneer and glue on the actual guitar body. Then we're going to line it up on here. Got to make sure I miss all these cracks that have actually formed. I might just whack that on in there and make sure that we're not going to get any cracks in the guitar body. I've also made a mark on the centre of the guitar here so I can centre line that join. Okay, that's looking pretty good there. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is just trace around the guitar body. So I know roughly where the guitar is going to sit. And that's where I'm going to concentrate the most glue. Okay, so we've got an outline of the guitar there. So I've used um, Gorilla Wood Grill, you can get it from Bunnings, it's only about $12 for 250 mil or whatever it is. So the whole idea of it, glue this side of the veneer, and then glue the, the guitar body as well, and then clamp it together. So let's go through that process now. Don't put a huge amount of glue on, but you don't want to put too, li too little on there as well. Obviously you want to make sure that this don't lift off the guitar body. Don't put it put a fair bit on but don't go overboard. Well, no, so you just gotta spread that out with a brush or you can do it with a um, spreader. Probably up to you. I'm just gonna try it with a brush. You want to do this reasonably quick. You don't want to be hanging around too long to put the glue on because it will dry, particularly in the climate. I mean, I'm sitting in a shed at the moment that's about 34 degrees, something like that. So I'll leave a little amount of glue on it. off the brush and then it'll make a great deal of difference but all right hey, there's the veneer done just put 
put that to one side and do exactly the same with the guitar body. That a good coating. A little bit too much up in that corner. You will get a fair bit of squeeze out, but you can actually sand that off later. There's no drums with that. So you just roll your bait and bake it down. This top sanding is still good. Uh, body in the center as close as you can get. Important part in getting your veneer down, this is what it's all about. I'm going to try and line this up to roughly where I had it. That's when you start to curl already just with the, the moisture and the heat. Alright, she's on there but it's um, wanting to buckle and carry on. It's this weather. This is this veneer I actually bought from England and um, I suppose it's used to a cold climate <laughs> and I've got to try to lay it onto a guitar in 34 degree heat it's really not playing the game so I'm just hoping that the brain once I lay it along the guitar and clamp it down it comes out flat we'll see how it goes but it's not looking too flat at the moment let me tell you Not wanting to play the game. for the best. All right, that's it. Let's hope for the best and hopefully this top will sit down because it was certainly waving around as I was putting it on. So. Try and get as much pressure on the can, so yeah, anyhow, that's it for another 24 hours. I'm going to let this sit and um, dry, and then when we come back, I'll trim her up, and um, hopefully it should be sitting flat. And sitting flat, then we'll be able to grain fill it, and then start the sanding and staining process. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, um, if everything turns out the way it should, we'll see you on the next one.